Hey y'all, Farmer Dre back at it. As I said, y'all, I'm feeling a little sick. I got a bunch of poison ivy here on my face. If you guys saw my last video, we were carrying out those logs off that fence line and uh, them roots. There was a bunch of poison ivy roots and I had no idea that the poison ivy roots were keeping poison ivy. I got it all over my face here. But you know what? That's not going to stop me from working. Even though I got poison ivy on my face, the work soon needs to get done here on the farm. So um, what I'm going to do here today is I got to stake the tomatoes. As you guys can tell, they've grown like crazy. They're falling all over the place. And uh, we did some work on our peaches yesterday. I did film some of that. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to stake the tomatoes. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what we did on our peaches. And we'll get the job done. So we, before I get to staking the tomatoes, let me show you guys here. We are seeing a lot of fruit getting set. Those are some pretty good sized ones. We got some bigger ones. Oh, uh, here, let me step over the rows here. Right there. There's a lot of fruit going everywhere. I mean, about every every plant has a lot of one or two good sized fruit on them. So, as you guys can tell, they've been growing like crazy. It's been beautiful weather. Today has actually been raining, as you guys can tell. So, uh, it's just I gotta stake these tomato plants because there's fruit about, on about every single one of them. So maybe there it is. So the tomato plants are growing great. So this is our mower, and I'll get I'll make a video about this here coming up pretty soon, probably next week or so. So that's the mower we used to mow the orchard with. My brother Adrian, he's actually grinding the blades, making it sharp, getting ready to go to, for the springtime. And uh, it's a cool mower, it's a cool system, how it works behind the tractor. We got the fancy wheel there, how it works behind the tractor. So I'll, I'll make a video about this here probably next week, but I'm going to get to staking the peaches, so you guys stay tuned. All right, so what we're doing here is these are our peach trees we planted last year. And what I'm doing here, I'm making sure there's no big weeds around the bottom. So I'm going to come through with some glyphosate and mark about a five-foot ring about them. And then I'm also going to I'm pruning them right now. So this branch is too low here, so I'm going to go ahead and prune that off. And then kind of to rip off all the dead wood we have in here and pull off all the flower buds. Because these are only two years. These are going to be they're going in their second leaf now. And we don't want them to bear fruit until the first first year so go ahead and chop that off too making sure the tree is nice and formed so we have plenty of structure that is perfect tree and what we're going to do in the summertime we're going to pick three or four of these leaders and uh form it out how it's supposed to be there's 15 feet apart and we got 12 rows here i got to do that are about 400 foot long so i'm gonna go ahead and get my knees here prune this prune that chop it up and then we're pulling off the flower but like this this is a fire bud a flower that actually set and then uh, open up yeah the frost didn't get this one so that would have been a fruit in there I don't know if you guys see that that is the uh, tiny fruit in there that's inside the um, ovule of the flower so pulling off the fruit fix training the tree a little bit it's just it's just just to get, get them um, going for the year so right here we got three flower buds so let me try to see up there and this one right here this this is small peach if we would have left this one on there it would have made a peach so right there pull those off pull the flower buds off we don't want those and then pull off all these suckers they're growing cut those out and come through with some glyphosate and kill the grass about five foot around make sure to take all that dead stuff out perfect we still got to pull the irrigation for these things so fast there we go it's a super easy job if you know what you're doing there you go pull off the flower buds make sure there's no more on there perfect this one these are too too much on the bottom now pull this one off 
I'm just gonna leave one of those leaders there. So let that tree form up perfectly straight. One main leader coming through. We don't need too many of those. Let's see what we can do here. Start from the bottom. Pull all those off. Pull that one. That's pretty much it on this one. We're gonna have to come through later on in the summertime and train them correctly. Like this one's way too bushy right now. Has too many of those. Cut off that middle a little bit. This one's a dead one right here. Well, that's still alive, so. Cut off the sucker on the bottom. Let that one for next time. So let's see what we have here. Okay, so this one, this one doesn't really have the, the leader dot on it whenever we planted it, as you guys can tell there. So what we're gonna do here is pick out one of the stronger ones we have here. This one's coming out. Well, hmm. Tough decision here. I'm just gonna leave it on to later on to all those trees get up and grow bigger so that's a good one right there come through with some glyphosate kill all that off I'm about to cut the whole branch there cut off these bottom ones we don't need these down here perfect that tree's gonna grow perfectly fine these ones off the bottom there you go pull out the center yeah I was might just leave that big one but we'll let that live until next time this one's scion rooted for do here no never mind and never mind Open. cut that off it still has a good flower butt right there so this is from this is a root stock right here this is a root stock this is a wild peach tree we have this little nub here. So I'm gonna come through when I come here through the through the with the glyphosate. Spray that, let that tree grow all here, even though it's a little itty bitty bud. It'll work. Here we go. Chop off the bottom ones. Perfect. Going quick. I got. Like I said earlier, 12 rows to do out here. It's just a matter of walking through them, cleaning them up. We got some more back there, and then we got this buck over here. So we'll get to doing it, and we'll get the job done.